What's going on guys, it's Unknown Player here in this video, we'll be going through all of my best loot drops recently and seeing how my character is progressing, highlighting some of the best and favourite rewards since Rise of Iron. So this is a video I used to do quite a lot back in like the April update and there was a bunch of new and cool stuff to get. So with Rise of Iron of course every now and again I'll do one of these videos, sort of rounding up everything cool and the best loot drops so you guys can see the roles I get and weapons and see what I'm still after. So in this video we've got some skeleton key, horde chests, some crucible and vanguard packages, the new Shaq's true meaning of war bounties, some crypt arcane grams and also my raid loot. The only thing we aren't going to be looking at in this video is of course my trials loot because I've already done a whole video on that going through absolutely everything I've got from my flawless run from the lighthouse chest. So if you want to see my trials loot that'll be in the description but for now let's go through everything else I've gotten recently starting off with the skeleton keys. So this has been pretty interesting of course you guys know I've been after a good Amaga loot for a very very long time. I've been after that fate bringer role so whenever I use my skeleton keys I'm always using it on either restorative mind or the undying mind. So of course I also need an artifact really really badly it was like my lowest thing at like 370 and everything else is like 380 385 so my artifact is massively holding me back so all i really wanted was an artifact but i'd definitely settle for an amargo loop as well and of course you can get both from the skeleton chest so when i did the restorative mind i managed to get gauntlets and also a cloak which is a massive troll literally i was just hoping for one or the other even amargo or an artifact or both far as lucky but i got neither just a pair of ugly warlock arms it's really disappointing and the next one i managed to open up and dying mind once again hoping for an amargo loop and all i got was an artifact so i was happy i got an artifact finally it was 381 which is a massive boost to my character and i can progress but unfortunately i did not even get an amargo loop i got the ugly mark probably the ugliest item in destiny absolutely hate this green thing but regardless i still got an artifact so it's decent but skeleton keys don't seem to be that kind to me anymore they seem to be a little bit difficult to get the amargo loops especially and it seems like all i'm getting is the class items or ugly armor pieces for other classes but at least i'm happy i got an artifact so that can definitely boost my light level so next up, let's look at shacks and a bunch of stuff I've gotten from Crucible in general, from packages, from rank up rewards, and a bunch of other stuff. So firstly, the new True Meaning of War Bounty. So this thing dropped me the machine gun, which is the Undying Deluge. And this is actually a remade year one weapon that was brought back. So this thing's pretty interesting, and it dropped a really, really good roll. We've got Spray and Play for the super fast reloads, which I really like on machine guns. We've got Brace Frame for maxed out stability, and Range Finder as well, so really good on that. Now, I also still had a True Meaning of War Bounty from Year 2, which is pretty interesting. If you actually still have one of these, they do drop after 385 loot drops. And this thing dropped me a Graviton 4 for Exotic, and also a really nice looking ship, which I love the design of. So pretty cool stuff from both the new and old True Meaning of War Bounties. Now, next up, I'm also going to show you what I got from my Shax quest line, where you get to choose three weapons. I actually went for the Sniper, the AMR. The Matador I would go for, but the roll is really bad. It's basically got no range, so there's not much point in using it. The Sniper at least is usable, it's got short gaze, so it's a really good weapon. But the Matador I don't think is much use. I'm going to hopefully try and get one after a Crucible game, but no, my luck, it's probably not going to happen. Now next up, moving on to the Crucible packages. So the first one, I got a Lord High Fixer Hand Cannon, a really cool weapon with the right range. This one came with Hidden Hand and also only Hammer Forge the range, so not too good. Also got another one from the next package, and this one came with Third Eye, and Reinforced Barrel is the best range perk, but it's not as good as Rifle Barrel because it takes away from stability, so this thing is going to kick really high. Again, not a massive fan of it. It's probably my best Lord High Fix that I have so far, but I would really like one that has really good range, and also some other decent perks as well. In my next Crucible package, I got a Zombie Apocalypse. This thing, not too great roll. We've got Counterbalance and also Hot Swap. And I also got this really cool cloak from year one. And it's got one of my favorite flavor texts on a cloak. It's really cool. It's basically describing this hunter that went around killing a bunch of other hunters and then took their cloaks and forged it into this one. So it's like this massive collection of all the hunters that have killed, which is pretty cool. So really awesome cloak right here. And the final thing is a Crucible match reward. This thing is the Hexcaster. This is also a year one weapon that was brought back. So it's part of that set. Now the perks for this one were Range Finder, you got a choice of range or stability perks, and then finally Feeding Frenzy, so pretty decent right there. The next thing was a random Cryptarch Engram, and this thing dropped me a thousand yard stare, and unfortunately is a bad roll. I'm still looking for a really good sniper rifle, and thousand yard is one of, if not the best sniper in the game, so I would love one with a good roll, but unfortunately that's still not happening. It's been like a year now and I've still not got a god roll PvP sniper. I've been looking for anything with a short gaze and a quick draw, honestly. I'd settle for that, but I'd really like something with a hidden hand as well. You guys have seen my absolute god roll her benevolent sniper and i'd love to get something even close to year three that's as good as that thing but probably not going to happen knowing my sniper luck 
Now, the final thing I want to look at is all of my raid loot and a bunch of the raid items I've picked up so far. And it's not really too great. I've got a couple of good items, but it's pretty lopsided, as you will see. So as it turns out, I managed to get three of these scout rifles, literally in the same raid. I opened the chest and got this thing, and the loot drop from the boss was also this thing. So pretty disappointing. Of course, they're the exact same roles. There's no difference. They're basically just three of the exact same weapons and pretty similar at light level as well. So very disappointed. However, I do really like the scout rifle. It's a very good weapon, really good for melting bosses. But I got three of them, so a bit disappointing right there. And then in special weapons, I've got the fusion rifle once, and I got two of the shotguns. The shotgun is quite good in Crucible. We've got some different elements on there. And then in the heavy weapons, I managed to get two of the rocket launchers, again at different elements. This is a really, really cool rocket launcher. One of my favorites, probably the best rocket launcher I own. Rockets aren't too great unless it's something like the Alahorn of Truth. But this thing is really good. Being able to reload and get a ton of ammo into the mag is a really nice ability. So this is a really good rocket. Definitely very happy I got the thing. And I got two of them, so there you go. And finally, the ghost shell as well. Managed to get two or three of these. I've already infused some of them. This is one I've got left over. Pretty ugly in my opinion. Nothing too special, but it is intellect and discipline. So maybe I'll keep it around. And as you'll notice, I've literally got all of that stuff on the left side of my screen. I have literally zero armor pieces, absolutely none. No class items, no artifacts. I would need especially an artifact. But I've got absolutely nothing on the right side of my screen. So very strange. Out of all the raids I've done and every single cash chest I've opened, literally no armor pieces. But there you go. That is a roundup of absolutely everything I've gotten recently since Rise of Iron, some of my highlights and best loot items. Let me know in the comment section what kind of loot you've gotten, some of your favorite things that you're really excited about. Always ever reading all your comments. And if you want to see more of these loot videos, then drop a like rating. That shows me that you want to see more of them. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.